everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel. Let's learn about the order of operations. This time, the GEMDAS rule. G stands for grouping symbols. They are the parentheses, brackets, and braces. These grouping symbols are also used to indicate the operation of multiplication. E for exponent, M for multiplication, D for division, A for addition, and S for subtraction. Always remember that we need to perform first all those operations inside the grouping symbols, still following which one comes first from left. Afterwards, all operations involving multiplication and division should be performed next, whichever comes first from left to right. Now, after performing all the operations inside the grouping symbols, all involving multiplication and division, the addition and subtraction will be the last to perform, whichever comes first from left. Let's have this example. 2 raised to 5 plus the quantity of 5 times the quantity of 5 plus the quantity of 2 plus 1 then divided by 3 and after that minus 5 then finally minus 1. First, we need to simplify 2 raised to 5 and that is equal to 32. And then perform the operation inside the parentheses, which is the addition of 2 and 1. So the sum is 3. Next, let's perform the operations inside the brackets. We have addition and division. So we need to divide first. 3 divided by 3 is equal to 1. Next is 5 plus 1. And that is equal to 6. We are all done with operations inside the parentheses and brackets. Now let's perform the operations inside the braces. We have the multiplication and subtraction. So let's multiply first. 5 times 6 is equal to 30. Now let's subtract. 30 minus 5 is equal to 25. Finally, we are all done with the exponent, grouping symbols, multiplication, and division. We are now down to addition and subtraction. So we need to add first 32 plus 25 is equal to 57. Then the last operation is subtraction. 57 minus 1 is equal to 56. The answer is 56. This example follows the gem does rule. Let's have another example. 5 times the quantity of 2 times the quantity of 3 times the quantity of 2 minus 1 then divided by 5 plus the square of 4. Remember that the grouping symbols, parentheses, brackets, and braces are used to indicate the operation of multiplication. We need to perform first the operation inside the parentheses. So 2 minus 1 is equal to 1. Now let's simplify the square of 4 and the answer is 16. After that, let's perform the operation inside the brackets. So, 3 times 1 is equal to 3. Now, the operation inside the braces. So, 2 times 3 is equal to 6. We are all done with all the operations inside the grouping symbols. Now, let's perform the operations of multiplication and division. So, 5 times 6 is equal to 30. Then, 30 divided by 5 is equal to 6. The last operation to perform is addition. So, 6 plus 16 is equal to 22. The answer is 22. This is an example that follows the GEMDAS rule. 
This ends our video lesson about the order of operations following the GEMDAS rule. Please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Click the notification bell for updates and also the like button. If you have questions and suggestions, feel free to comment below. Kindly share this also with others. Thank you for watching!